It may still be and like winter, but there's a place right here in Pittsburgh where you can escape the cold and the snow and feel like you're in a tropical paradise. Yes, that sounds wonderful. We're talking about the National Aviary on the north side, and this weekend there are two events that'll make you forget all about the weather. <laughs> here to tell us about Flamingo Fest, and it's the summertime somewhere adult party <laughs> are Kathy Schlott and Krista Gauz, and we don't want to leave out this colorful toucan named Izzy Isabel, Hi, Izzy. right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Isabel, we call her Izzy. It is a species of bird called a curl crested arasari. Uh, they get the name from those beautiful curls on the top of her head, and they are feathers because, after all, she is a bird, so they have feathers all over their body. Oh, it almost looks like steel, like a little coil. Yeah, Doesn't it does. It? it looks like it, like a brillo pad kind yeah, of. It makes this particular species of arasari unique because it is the only type of arasari that has the curls on their head. Hence, how they got the name curl crested. And if uh, anybody ever comes up to the uh, National Aviary, you can actually get a chance to feed and hold her um, during some of our encounters that we offer daily. <laughs> so cool. And we're going to get a chance to do yes. that in just a few minutes. But we want to talk with you, too, about the events coming up this weekend. Something for everyone. We do. We have Flamingo Fest, which is one of our most popular events. It's going to be Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 3. And the great thing about coming to the National Aviary in wintertime is it's warm. There's beautiful tropical habitats, and it really helps to chase away those winter blues. It's nice. You can wear your sweater inside, but bring a tank top because right. you'll be... Yeah. Pushing them up. I'm not saying undressing. <laughs> you won't be undressing at the aviary, but it is nice and toasty in there, and it does feel a little well, tropical. I, I love the room with the, the flamingos because it feels kind of sauna-like, right. doesn't it? Yes, and we're going to focus on them this summer, or this weekend, and we have actually 10 flamingos in our flock. We're going to have games and activities and lots of things for all ages to come and have fun and enjoy the weekend. Now, for the 21 and older group, <laughs> we have something extra special. I love this because it's like 5 o'clock somewhere, but it's right. summertime it's somewhere. It's summertime somewhere because a lot of our birds at the National Aviary, their habitats would be in the Southern Hemisphere where it's summertime right now, including our African penguin species, because everyone thinks about the African penguins being from the cold weather, but actually mm -hmm. African penguins are from warm weather. Oh yeah, that does blow your mind because you, I've, I've learned that before and it's <laughs> yeah. like, but wait, they're penguins. It's yeah. true. So everyone's going to get a chance to meet some of our ambassador animals that you wouldn't usually see up close. There's going to be lawn games, lots of fun. We're going to have succulent crafts, lots of activities going on for the over 21 crowd. Too. So I'm assuming if it's 21 and over that there has to be some reason why. Is it, is it, is There's it, going to be alcohol. Okay, I, think, be I, think alcohol. I was hoping you would just say, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to guess. Yes, yeah. there's going to be alcohol for purchase after that. All right, behavior. that's great. Okay, we'd love to get a look at yeah. Izzy. Do so, you want to go first? Well, I don't know. I, I think they have a plan, and you uh, might oh, be going uh, first. Yes, oh, we yes. Might. Okay, so we'll just go in order. Papers? Sure. Okay. You're just going to hold your hand out like this, and we're going to just okay. hop her right to you. <gasps> and then she's just going to land, and you're going to hold her just like that, and then we'll oh, have you go next. So you want to use this hand? This hand? Okay. Because if it's too close, she'll just sit there and steal the food. <gasps> oh, <laughs> isn't that oh, fun? Is <laughs> you didn't expect that, did oh, you? Oh, that's fun. There you go. So oh, neat. Wow. And this is an encounter that the public can take at the National Aviary. Now, I, can't, can be, I shouldn't touch her, right? No, like she, she would doesn't. Bite, would she bite me? She, she just wouldn't appreciate that. And we always, <laughs> want to, we always want to make our birds feel as comfortable as possible. She kind of so. looked at me when so I said, neat. can I touch her? She was kind of, like, no, no. Don't you even think about it. <laughs> Everyone enjoys their personal space, including the birds. Including birds. What, is she so eat? what are you feeding her? So they are fruit eaters by nature. So we have lots of uh, pieces of blueberry, grapes, banana, papaya. Sometimes they get some mango so lots of fruits yeah. well, that was a lot of fun thank well, you both her. that was so much fun yeah, i love it <laughs> and you can escape winter this weekend at the national aviary at flaming flamingo fest for all ages saturday and sunday and at the 21 plus party friday night called it's summertime somewhere and you can find more details and tickets on the aviary's website we posted the link for you at kdk.com <laughs> slash ptl hey izzy giving me the eyes over here <laughs>